All right, so I say that a lot, don't I? All right, and so maybe it's because I don't know how to start videos or whatever, but I ordered something on Amazon yesterday. Something my wife has mentioned a few times she wanted and it came in the mail today. Um, so let's have a little gander here. One, two, three. Ooh, how do I switch this? One, two, three. There we go. So uh, ignore the tape. I'm going to put down some more um, grout matched, color matched, whatever, silicone there. Uh, and I found that's the best way really to get even lines. Normally I wouldn't care, but it's gray onto white tile. So I want a perfect line. So ignore that. But we got a cup washer. Um, my wife drinks a ton of tea and coffee. So she's mentioned she wanted this for a while. We've had this soap dispenser here. We don't use it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, there's a, there will be a hole there. Um, so, boom. Oh, geez. Thing is huge. That's what she said. So essentially you just put the cup over it and press and it should uh, spray water up into it. There's quite a few different nozzles, spray streams. It was very well rated. Uh, I wanted one that kind of matched the sink. Just a pretty close match. So it came with this. So I bought all this for $53. Claims to have a lifetime warranty. Highly doubt that's true, but that's all right. Um, so you put your cup over, you hook this up to your hot water line or cold. I'll be hooking it up to the hot water line. Put your cup over, press down, and it sprays up and uh, essentially rinses out your cup before you wash it, just to make it easier. Um, so we have the user manual, the actual cup washer. We have a splitter uh, since I'll have to have the cup washer go to here and then into the sink. And then they sent a, oh, it seems pretty good quality, a nylon hose, hopefully with, yeah, black rubber washer. So that's not bad quality. That could be a lot cheaper quality. It's not a stainless steel, um, but it's not the cheap plastic either. This is a fairly nice splitter by the looks of it. So I'm curious, actually, uh, I just used this uh, shaker today. If this will fit over, because that would be extremely nice. The fling bubbles everywhere. This is my favorite shaker uh, for workout. But, ooh, look at that. It'll fit over. Perfect. So uh, we're, I'm just going to show you how to do this real quickly. I'm going to unscrew the uh, things off of this, pull this out, and then I should be good to set that in. Oh, this came with, it should have come with. Yeah, here we go. Sorry. If we're being honest, I already unboxed this. <laughs> then I closed it back up and pretended to re-unbox it. Um, a washer and a actually very nice it's how a lot of sinks are connected. Um, it's like a strong brass. It's pretty thick. Maybe that's what she said. A quarter inch or so. And so what you do is you set this in there. It has a nice little um, rubber washer thing to help it angle the right way. Because you want it to drain. So I don't know if you can tell. But the rubber washer is uh, angled to the front. So you'll slide this down there, put your black rubber washer on first, then your whatever, metal washer. And just twist these on until it's tight, and then you go under and uh, screw these down for a good hold. So let's get that done, and then we'll hook up the water to it. So we are under the sink. Let's see if we can get this here. Uh, as you can see, right here is where it is protruding through the sink. So we're going to put it on like this. Rubber washer first, then the metal washer, and then this. 
So it keeps moving around like crazy up here. Um, and as I'm trying to surprise my wife, I don't want to have her come hold it in place. So I'm just going to use some painter's tape to hold it down uh, and hope that works. Just put it in an X pattern over it. Hold it pretty well. Looks like a child taped it. But you know what? Such is life. Should be good to go here. So now I'll try again. All right. So the tape trip. Tape trip? What? English. The tape trick worked pretty well. I was able to. Sorry, I'm going to come under here yeah, again. It's not easy getting under sinks when they're 6'4 and 230 pounds. But uh, everything is attached up there. The washer is tight. So now. We just have to come in here with the uh, screwdriver and tighten it down a little bit so it doesn't move at all. I really like this type of installation instead of like a plastic washer or nut washer up top. Okie dokie, there we go. So now all we have to do is hook up the hose down here and then hook it to our water. We'll be good to go. So like I said, they sent a nice hose, uh, a quality one. I don't know, it might be two foot or so. Um, it's a standard half inch, and I believe that's three eighths, I don't know. But it's a standard uh, hookup for PEX. So all we have to do is crawl under there. Again, uh, screw this up, tighten it, make sure it's tight. Put our splitter on and uh, turn our water back on. Make sure you turn your water off first. If not, you're going to find out the hard way. But regardless, let's get this done. So I got the hose hooked up to the one up top. And now we just have to uh, put on the splitter here. If it'll turn. So it's just a little splitter. Um, first, we'll turn our hot water off. And if you don't know which way is off, normally out at a T is off. But there's little words on here. I'm going to come up to the top and open the sink just to pull any water out if there is any. There's not. We're still going to have some leaks, some drips under there. So, like anything that gets a little rough in life, throw down a towel. Uh, so my line runs back and up to there. I'm going to put the splitter on the dishwasher side. That way, if I ever have an issue, I can shut off the dishwasher and uh, still have water to the sink, but uh, not have water to this. So uh, this is shut off down here. I'm not going to really shut this off. Actually, I am just so I can get that off of there and then we'll be back with the uh, adjustable wrench and we will get it sorted. All right, so our water's off. Um, I'm just using a adjustable wrench here. We're going to take off this. Like I said, we might have some water come out of here. It's all right. You know, what would help is if I went the right way, though. Just gonna take this guy off of here. How much water are we gonna have? None. Sweet. So I will um, put that right onto here. This has a rubber washer inside. Make sure you, you have rubber washers. If not, you'll need to uh, add some Teflon tape. And don't use crappy stuff. By the good stuff. So now we're gonna twist this back on here. Maybe. Oh, hey. Come on. Don't cross thread it. Don't, uh, if it's not working right the first time, figure, there we go. Figure out why and uh, back it off. Okay, so the main water's hooked up again. It's going to pass through here into the dishwasher. Then we just need to find our new hose here. And put that on so now we have a T connector 
and we'll just tighten these guys up <clears throat> like I said nothing crazy but just enough uh, to squeeze those plastic washers down a little bit and if you don't feel comfortable installing one of these yourself uh, you could just hire a plumber I'm nothing against plumbers my brother's one I just this is something I feel comfortable doing so the first main water line has been tightened now we're gonna tighten the dishwasher one and now we'll tighten the new line oh that's uh, the opposite my brain doesn't work upside down and backwards and then we will uh, turn our water on slowly check for any leaks and then see what we got so we'll turn on the main water here which is this one shut our water off to the sink up there now we'll slowly turn this one on okay so no drips anywhere but we're gonna keep an eye on this completely dry this off because you get some water drips on it on install and you don't want them to leak um our one up top back here should not be leaking we can just feel up there uh, back up here no drips you always check for like a week after and make sure the, the wood down here is dry but let's head up there and see if uh, it works all right so our water's hooked up we are just going to set this up here it's kind of cool since it's clear and just press see what happens oh heck yeah it's quite a bit of pressure to push this down uh, I guess since it's pressure activated but that's pretty cool Water is going all the way up to the top and drains right out into the sink. That is pretty nifty. So uh, there you guys go. I hope that uh, I hope that helped. You know, if you've been thinking about it, I'll post the link to the kit I bought. Um, I just liked that it had a lifetime warranty and that it was metal. So came with everything I needed. As long as you have a running sink and a uh, hole in your sink, you should be good to install one of these. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, that's maybe a 2 or a 3 for hardness to install. So, hope you found it helpful. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.